Welcome back to Sustainable Monetized Websites, a series for online content creators and content managers who also handle monetization. I'm Aurora, and I work in policy transparency at Google. And these are my two co-hosts, Organica and Monetized. In this episode, we will take a look at copyright from a holistic point of view. We'll see what happens from the content creator angle, as well as from the side of a publisher who receives a copyright infringement notification. Please bear in mind that this is not intended to be legal advice, so you should consult an attorney if you have questions about any of the copyright-related topics we're about to discuss. Let me start by saying, copyright is a form of intellectual property. A person who creates an original work, such as an image or a piece of music, typically holds a copyright in that work. Generally, the copyright holder can control who can make and distribute copies of their work, who can display or perform it publicly, and who can make derivative works based on it. Exceptions to this rule are uses that fall under fair dealing or fair use, such as news reporting or parody. Many types of works are eligible for copyright protection. Examples of this include, but are not limited to, audiovisual works, such as TV shows, movies, and online videos, sound recordings and musical compositions, written works, such as lectures, articles, and books, visual works, such as paintings, posters, and advertisements, video games and computer software, dramatic works such as plays and musicals. Google does not allow content that infringes copyright. Under this policy, we will respond to copyright infringement notifications to comply with copyright laws worldwide. And what are those laws? One example is the United States copyright law known as the Digital Millennium Copyright Act or DMCA. Under this law, Google may, when properly notified, disable access to content that violates it. Now that I covered the basics of copyright, let's test your knowledge. It's... I will read a statement and you will tell me if it's true or false. Round one. If I give credit to the copyright holder, my use of their content is automatically not infringing. True. And that is wrong. Giving credit to a copyright holder does not make a particular use of copyrighted content authorized or fair. Round two. The copyright holder has the right to control all uses of the work they produce. True. And that is false. In limited cases, other people can use content from a work that's protected by copyright without getting permission from the copyright holder. That's because some unauthorized uses of copyrighted works are considered as fair dealing exception or fair use. But it's not always easy to tell which uses are fair. Users can provide relevant information to Google that will help assess their case. Third, and final round. If you see an image that you know is being used in a way that infringes on someone else's copyright, you should submit a copyright infringement notification on the copyright holder's behalf. True. And that is false. Only copyright holders or their authorized representatives can submit copyright infringement notifications. You may not know whether someone has a license to use another person's copyrighted work or not, and Google has to be careful not to remove legitimate content. Users who send copyright infringement notifications to Google must check a box swearing under penalty of perjury that they are the real copyright holder or authorized to act on behalf of them. And that's it for the copyright quiz. Let's look now at the copyright removal request process. As a web publisher, you could find yourself on both sides of a copyright removal request. You might be the copyright holder who finds that another publisher is using content you created in a way that you think is infringing. 
or you might have used another right holder's content in a way that they believe is infringing. If you're a content creator and you believe there's an unauthorized copy of your content on a website that you would like to have removed, the first step is to contact the site owner to request the content removal at the source. If that doesn't work out, you can initiate a process to delist the specific web page containing that content from search results. The easiest way to report copyright infringement to Google is through our legal troubleshooter. Once you've selected the product, make sure to file a complete copyright infringement notification as we cannot take action on incomplete submissions. Using the troubleshooter will ensure that your notification contains all the legally required elements, such as your description of your work that you believe has been infringed, and the URLs where the allegedly infringing content can be found. When we receive a valid copyright infringement notification, our teams carefully review it for completeness. If the notification is complete and we find no other issues, we will delist the URL from search results. Thanks for that, Organica. Monetized, what happens if you are the site owner and Google lets you know they've had to remove content from your site due to a copyright infringement notification? If Google receives a valid copyright infringement notification against your site or page, meaning that someone has reported your online content for copyright infringement, your page level URL will be delisted from Google search results. If you're an AdSense publisher, your content monetization will also be disabled on that page as per our publisher program policies. As we mentioned in episode three of our series, make sure your site adds unique value. When a URL is removed due to a claim of copyright infringement, we notify both the complainant and the site owner through Search Console. The URL is delisted from Google search results. Sites with high number of removal notices may appear lower in search results. Ads can no longer be placed on the page containing claimed infringing content. If you believe your page was removed by mistake, you can either contact the claimant directly to request a retraction of the takedown notice, or you can submit a counter notification when filling out your counter notification, please be sure to identify the specific URLs or other unique identifying information of material that Google has removed or to which Google has disabled access. Your counter notification request must meet all legal requirements and clearly explain your right to use the copyrighted content in your own words. If you think the content was wrongly identified Explain why in a clear and concise way. Luckily, Google's web form will guide you through the submission process. Once you submit the counter notification through a web form or on Search Console, if it meets all legal requirements and clearly explains your right to use the content, it is then forwarded to the claimant with the full text, including the contact information you've entered. We won't forward the counter notification to any party other than the original claimant. The claimant will then have 10 business days as required by the copyright law to reply to your counter notification. They'll need to respond with evidence that they are taking legal action against you to keep the content from being restored. If they don't provide this evidence in the provided time frame, the content will automatically be reinstated. And why can't Google determine copyright ownership? Google can't resolve disputes over who holds the copyright in a particular piece of content. When we receive a complete and valid copyright infringement notification, we remove the content as the law requires. When we receive a valid counter notification, we forward it to the person who requested the removal in the first place. If there is still a dispute after that process plays out, it's up to the parties involved to resolve the issue in court. If you are not sure whether certain material infringes the copyrights of others, we suggest that you contact an attorney before posting it. In an effort to inform discussions about online content regulation, Google regularly publishes transparency reports that disclose data on content removal requests. There is a specific report on content delistings due to copyright, 
where you can explore the data and find requests from copyright owners and the reporting organizations that represent them. Remember, Google is required by international copyright laws to remove content in response to valid claims of copyright infringement, so only publish and monetize content that is non-infringing. A valid claim of copyright infringement will remove your URL from Google search results and the claimed infringing content will no longer be accepted for AdSense monetization. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to this channel so that you're the first one to get new content. See ya!